Molaro Ardane Sergiatorish, who is the founder of the Philosophic Academy in Alan Barra, he's a doctor in philosophy and doctor of technical doctor in engineering. So a doctor in philosophy in Munich and doctor in engineering in Dresden. Over to you. Hello. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> so I have to speak in English. Uh, I'm Mongolian. Uh, we learned uh, in socialist era in Mongolia at first Russian language. So my first foreign language is Russian. Yeah, I'm glad to at the conference. And my second uh, uh, language was uh, Germany. I studied in Germany. And my third uh, foreign language is English, maybe a little bit English. As a scientist, as a philosopher, you have to read also in English language, English papers, books, and so on. So today, uh, philosophy as a discipline faces many challenges posed by likes of political theory, sociology, economics, even psychology in collaboration with neurosciences. In the so-called postmodern era, <laughs> we philosophers again have much uh, to do. A uh, big uh, crisis call for big uh, philosophies, I would say. We know rationality is, uh, as a philosophical concept only in the academic world uh, uh, has no problem. You prepare lectures, write books for a small circle. If you have some time left and some financial support as an academic philosopher, you submit uh, papers for philosophical journal good journals, and so on. But uh, as a public philosopher, you find yourself in a complicated situation because of a different audience. So, so. I am not an uh, academic philosopher anymore. I founded my uh, philosophy academy 10 years ago. and. Uh, in this time, I give uh, hundreds of thousands uh, lectures for the people, ordinary people in my country. In this abstract, I want to discuss some points as a Mongolian philosopher who lives between the taiga in the north and uh, the Gobi Desert in the south. I want to present my philosophical theory, or rather more Mongolian philosophical theory, hedonism. What is hedonism? Hudo is uh, similar to the Turkish word uh, koto. For Chinese word, uh, hutong. For Russian word, hutong. So, in today's uh, Mongolia, we call people who live in the countryside, hutu people. Hutu people in Mongolia would be named nomads by foreigners. They are hutu people. All Mongols were Hudu people before Soviet era Russian and Chinese people constructed the only city of Mongolia, Ulaanbaatar. The half of population living and working in Ulaanbaatar. 
other half in Hudo. My uh, grandmother was a uh, Hudo Namat uh, woman, and my mother studied in Ulaanbaatar, and then from Ulaanbaatar I come to uh, Germany to study. There are the three generations in Mongolia, three gener generations, 100 years. So we have a history of 100 years. So-called Hudo people, of course, in the old days made such a row looking for a Central Asian folks with philosophy coming to a step. Life is hard, long winter, between taiga and Gobi desert. The extreme winter and climate are, how to say, against human nature, hostile to life. My philosophical theory is about Kudo or Kudo, how to begin to philosophize in Mongolian step, how to start, uh, what I thinking, uh, they, they, they is uh, long, uh, life is <laughs> short. Who do uh, we speak um, uh, of when we speak of Mongols? Is there any origins of Mongol people? Origin of Mongolian language? Are Mongols a mix of nomadic folks? Is Mongolian language a mix of Persian, Turkish, Manju, Tibetan, Sanskrit, and so on? Who are these Mongols? Of course, there is country Mongolia as a country. But are there any original Mongols. Who is Mongols? This is, uh, this is always my, my question. And then I uh, began or started from Hudo and worked on, uh, still working on my uh, Hudonism uh, philosophy. My Hudonism philosophy is uh, like rationalism, like French rationalism, like German idealism, and like uh, English empiricism, and uh, Indian Buddhism, Arab, Islamism, Taoism, Confucianism, like any other isms. Hudunism theory consists of three research fields or thesis. At first, failed transcendence. At second, pre-existence. At third, Missing nihilism. Why failed transcendence? Because of uh, failed transcendence comes from failed Buddhism in Mongolia because of manichaeism. Before Buddhism, it was manichaeism, Uyghur religion in Mongolian field. It was not a uh, like uh, state, uh, uh, like others, no state. We had no state. We had no khans. We had no religion. Only Hudo people, mixed of some folks. The second thesis pre-existence is in a socialist area in Mongolia. In socialism, the transition process from pre-existence to individuality through democracy and privatization stopped. We had a good time in, in socialism because Soviet people and uh, Chinese people constructed Ulaanbaatar. All industry, all medicine, school, education, law, law and order, all constructed in 100 years. We are 100 years old. So through this democracy, protestation, 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 shock therapy, and all economy, all life, all social life falling down, like Berlin Wall. <laughs> Capitalists coming and tear it down, <laughs> Mongolian uh, life. 
So, uh, missing nihilism, how I say missing nihilism? So, uh, after uh, uh, Berlin War, uh, after uh, Perestroika, we had no way back. <laughs> uh, maybe East, East European countries, after Berlin uh, Wall, uh, after Perestroika, come to Europe. But we, we have nothing <laughs> to go, no place. Only his place was Hudo. We left Ulaanbaatar, capital, and then come to Hudo. So this missing nihilism, is, why? Because nihilism is uh, something against state or against uh, sense and so on. Nonsense itself is itself morality. So, but uh, uh, you know, how, how it looks, it does look uh, Mongolian philosopher's life. He is between Western and Eastern philosophy situated. In present time, I uh, interested in uh, more interested in Eastern philosophy because I see some complication in, in Western philosophy because of council culture, political correctness. Yeah, postmodern European philosophers like uh, Zizek or Alain Badiou, French, or Peter Sloterdijk, German, they are in the, in the bad situation because of council culture. There is no uh, real uh, open, free philosophy in the uh, Western world. Only philosopher uh, Giorgio Agamben from Italy has publicly shown his own critical position against COVID pandemic and so on. So only Agamben, other Western philosophers. Uh, closing mouth. <laughs> so today we do not find such a philosophical theory of pandemic. Also, there is no philosophical theory of climate change. Why and in what circumstances those European so-called public intellectuals philosophers silence it? These philosopher old men are in trouble. Through castle culture, there are no more public intellectuals, but major intellectuals. Are philosophers or even philosophy in deep crisis? My philosophy in the next time will be to return to and re-understand uh, maybe Western philosophy. I started with Western philosophy, came to Eastern philosophy. Eastern philosophy has uh, no problem. Buddhism, Sarastra, Persian philosophy, Taoism, Chinese philosophy, they have no problem. Hundred years, thousand years. <laughs> Uh, philosophize it. So I'm in a situation, or Mongolia is in a, in a situation, uh, beginning of philosophy. I have to start to philosophize. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much, Chef.